Hello everybody, slightly obnoxious Kiwi here and welcome back to part two of our Hydromere campaign. I've decided that we're going to go live at the Scoria Peaks. Uh, you have to like dig down to the lava initially, which I thought was quite interesting. I think I saw a bone over here. Yeah! Right, so there are dragon bones all about. I've got like five or so of them in the boot right now. And uh, you collect them all and take them to the museum. I haven't done it yet, but I think before we start this mining, I might go and finish this dinosaur off. So, uh... That's what they look like in the ground. They have a nice shine to them, so they're nice and easy to find. And you can only take one at a time, but that's okay. But first, we'll go have a look at our new base. Uh, it is called the Scoria Peaks. It's quite interesting. Uh, it's close enough to the main hub where all the trade's going to be happening, which is right there behind us, that I think it's going to be worth traveling. Uh, the other ones are pretty far away, but a bit too much distance in my opinion. Although the Master Forge is a lot closer to the other ones. This one is way the hell up here. Here it is, the Scoria Chamber. Right, so the interesting thing about this one is that the lava is underground, so there's no, like, surface lava. So we're gonna have to go get a pickaxe so that we can destroy the uh, the ice and dig down to the lava so that we can actually start powering our tools. You can see here the tier one, tier two, and tier three lava pools, which means the materials around them are of that tier. So depending on the level of your items, for example, our shovel is tier one or zero. Uh, so it can basically only do this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unload everything pile it over there nicely and then I'm gonna purchase the land and shoot back to the base grab a pickaxe and collect all the bones and the next scene you'll see is a nice pile of all the stuff over there and then I'm gonna go find every single bone that I can uh, I'm not gonna use a guide I'm just gonna walk around until I find them all so I'll be back once uh, I have all the bones right now like a true paleontologist I've kept the bones how I found them on the ground so I don't think I have them all there's a distinct lack of skull and an overabundance of feet but uh, I will put this together and we'll see what we're up to. Okay, so we managed to find 30 bones. I think the rest of them might be in the really foggy area. I saw these weird drills while I was running about, and I think if you repair them, maybe you'll get rid of the fog. I don't know. Oh, they could actually be on the other island as well. I didn't hit there. I might pop over there real quick and check, and then I'll come back. It just occurred to me that I can't go across the other island yet because I don't have the ticketing office, so I need to build that. We need to pick up a pickaxe and a couple of the first items that are going to help us start our mining procedures it turns out to get a pickaxe you have to i i presumably unlock the tier one building so i need to go grab two of my hardstone blocks and quickly mine up 30 iron which shouldn't take us too long uh and then we'll unlock this by the pickaxe and we can start our new home uh the back is loaded with stuff we are good to start building very soon we've only got two of the mining rigs at the moment and one crusher one for water one for ore but we'll update and upgrade as we gain materials all right let's purchase our land ah we officially own the scoria chamber dig site and here we are all set up ready to go so i have my pickaxe and i got some tier one uh explosive logic tnt so the plan is to have a quick look at this map so it says the lava's like a bit off the edge right so i'm gonna guess the lava's just right here if we go down so the pickaxe destroys territory as you mine instead of like having to replace it so i want to dig all the way down to tnt i oh, sorry to the lava and then place the tnt down once we find the lava i have no idea how deep the lava is though all right Looks like we've reached the bottom here. Now, I've never used this before, but presumably you just pull the lever. Yep. And it makes a big bloody crater. Okay, so what we've got here is this is where the lava is. I've discovered it. Oh, there's a cooler. Oh, it did turn into scrap. Okay. Damn. I was hoping that my uh my lever would have been fine, but it's not. So basically I've mined a big hole. Put my pickaxe down to here. I don't know if the TNT is going to be that helpful, to be completely honest with you, but I'm going to go down there. I'm going to make a uh, basically a platform and I'm going to start producing down there. So I will bring you back once I have that all sorted out. And you can see we've only got three drills at the moment one for water, two to produce resources, I guess. Um, and we've got the water converter here, ice melter, they call it. A bunch of hand sorters that we're just going to sort everything out individually. Uh, Filters for the lava, filters for the water. Oh, actually, it'd just be for the lava, wouldn't it? I need to get one more lava. Um, one more of the, what are they called? These things here. Lava intake pipes. 
so i'll pop down there i'll get these all set up and i'll bring you back and we are back that took a while but let's go and have a look what i've built so we've still got a bunch of supplies out here and power stone good to know that's there didn't use much of the explosives it turns out they're not that helpful but uh here's our steps into our little base come down here and this is where the magic happens uh right let me just get this thing running should be enough to get some ice flying through oh so close all right so we had to dig down pretty deep to find out that's why it took so long because i dug this humongous space out it's going to be a passageway that's going to go around basically to where we collect all the resources from but we have the intake pipes and the three drills going full speed they're trying to produce enough ice to run the water but it seems like three drills isn't enough for this amount so we probably need one more drill just so we can produce just enough uh, ice for everything uh, they run directly off these i disconnected all the filters because they just break all the time and these things last about as long without filters as they do with uh so let's have a look so we start down here power stones running everything they go down onto the conveyor belts conveyor belts feed through ice separates here all that goes into the uh doodah that rips all the chunks up every now and then something gets stuck in there just when the system freezes oh here they are the magical wand of fixing here. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch in there. Oh. Come on, gold. Out you come. There we go. Put these back on the track. Now, the system for collecting the resources at the moment is uh, probably a little bit on the uh, cheap side, but <laughs> basically I have a bunch of funnels with a bunch of uh, pans in them. So all the resources just fall into the pan. I don't know how well they're doing, to be completely honest with you. And at the end, we have all the gems and uh, the uh, core stone is down there as well. It looks like our water ran out again. I need to walk, work on the water system a little bit more, but I'm pretty happy with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this thing running for, I don't know. I'll let you guys know with a little cut over and we'll see how much uh, resource we can get our hands on. First things first, I'll mount what we have down currently and uh, produce what it's gonna produce and then I will show you the outcome. It's a bit of a bootleg system, but I have set up this so that we can watch it. I don't know how much is in here. Uh, it's mostly key point joints. So we are mounting some holes right now, but we'll fix it in a sec. No lag this time. Oh my God. All right, 70, well like 80 bars. Okay, well, that's cool. Uh, let's fast forward it, I guess. I definitely wish there was a way to like compact these a little bit more but that's all right let's go shut this up okay with this dealt with now so that's two of the resources done we have the gems and we have the hard stone so now i'll do the other remaining resources we actually didn't get any core stone this whole time just curious um unless i have no, i don't have core stone set up and get a single core stone this whole time I've been drilling. Oh, that's terrifying, isn't it? All right, uh, so I'll get these all smelted together and good to go. And I'll bring you guys back with the bars and the weights. We'll head back into town and uh, we'll go from there. And welcome back. All right, let's have a look. I haven't had a look at these yet, so I am curious to how much they weigh. So this is our original core stone bar. It shouldn't weigh anymore. It currently weighs, well, it's worth a thousand gold. It weighs 42.27. So that's how much core stone we have our gold bar no cloud him bar sorry i'm in an, at 69.83 and nice with 13,600 900 gold oops scales oh oh god it's all falling apart that's why you hammer stuff down show me the numbers but it's not there we go all right so we'll go with our bar here now Weighing at 93.86, that should keep us going for a while. Our iron bar. Coming in at 15,708 gold at 1,308 weight. 0.99, very close to another one. And last but not least, our big old chunk of gold. 
coming in at 18,292, which gives us 914.58 weight. So it's pretty impressive. Uh, I think what we're going to do with this stuff is, well, we need some cash. So we'll turn the gold into cash. We'll get the gems real quick. Oh, I left them downstairs. I'll just go pick those up. We'll weigh the gems. We'll make the most expensive uh, necklace, ring, whatever we can. I don't know what's more valuable. Maybe we should use all of them, cut the bar up a few times. Uh, then we can at least sell them all. Our rubies coming in at 650, well, 45. Sapphire, 1,129. Fucking emerald, 2,945. That's a hefty emerald. And our onyx, coming in at 752. So we've got no diamonds. So if we cut the bar four times and make four different things, I reckon we'll make four rings. How about we do that? So our saw's around here somewhere, and so is our anvil. It's the saw. One. There we go. I'll grab my anvil. Uh, voila. Chuck it there. Yep, it's fine. I'm gonna heat this up. Onyx. Blacksmith hammer is over here. There it is. Floating in the air. You love to see it. Oh. Ah, shit. I don't know how to use this thing. I barely used it, so... Uh, so there's the ring. Gemstone probably isn't in there properly. There you go. Oh, there you go. Healthy gold bar. Bonk. We have... It. Oh, goodness. Uh, really gonna hammer this stuff down. So our onyx ring coming in at... A whopping 5,000 gold. Bad. Hammer. Ah, big old emerald. This wall can stay there. They're hot enough, probably. Looks pretty red to me. Nice. Let's do a combined weight. That's 14,000. So we are making more money, which is good. Obviously, it's because we're incorporating big old gems into the thing. Hopefully, the uh, jeweler is paying a little bit better. We'll see, though. Um, they were down last time. It's been a while. It's been many hours since I uh, last went to the jeweler, and it's been many, many days in the game. So we're lucky. Kind of look like onion rings, don't they? Making me hungry. And last but not least, our sapphire. Fingers crossed we get some more gems while we're away. We need to go buy some uh, toolkits to repair our stuff because they're constantly breaking. I can't wait to upgrade to some slightly higher durability uh, items. There we go. 26,000 golden rings right there, so... Oops. Chuck the rings into there so we don't misplace them. Right, I'll head over to the shop. I'll have a look at the upgrades that we can do and I will start unlocking some of them. Now we have about 26K to our name. We spent most of our last gold stack. We have 964 gold left. A bunch of uh, smart wires here. I was trying to figure out the water system. I was wondering why it kept pausing. I thought it was because of my input, but I think it's just because we can't really maintain the amount of water we're using. It's fine. Let's chuck all that down there. I might blow it up with the dynamite and just use all these uh, like metal scraps somewhere, but I haven't decided yet. I'll get this going again and I will start unlocking some of the settlements. I wouldn't mind getting a tier 2 shop going. Um, I think it would be good for us. But, yeah. Be, oh my god, frames. Whew. Might need a few more pieces of ice. To make sure this thing's running. And it should run for a healthy amount of time, I suspect. Oh my goodness. Alright, there's a lot of material on that belt. Last one. Good luck. There we go. Now we've got water in the system. I wonder how much of that's wasted or if it's actually just sitting in the system. I'm sure if there's a leak somewhere, we're probably just wasting it, but I don't think I have any leaks in my system. Oh, I need to uh, repair this. I didn't even know that thing needed repairs, so there you go. I think this is my last toolkit. Let me grab my magnet, fix all that up, and then uh, we will get on our way. So you're constantly fixing the stuff with the magnet here, but it's alright. At least it's easy to fix. 
There we go. Oh my god. That wasn't so easy to fix. <laughs> honey my, honey my. Oh, it broke immediately. What? It produced so much that it instantly broke. That's insane. Okay, well, we don't have any toolkits left, so I can't fix that. So I'm going to go and uh, get some toolkits, get this fixed, and hopefully this won't be too clocked up by the time we do that. Be right back. Up 0.4%, but that's gone up since last time we were here, so that's not bad in my opinion. All right, there's our rings. Here they are. Chuck the bucket on. And we got ourselves 26,000 gold. Nice. All right, sorry. Hydro coins or whatever they're called. Yeah. yeah. Didn't want to mix you anyway. 27,200 and one remaining. Cool. Put these back in here so we can refuel our vehicle as we're going around. So I'm going to go take a quick uh, look at what all of these require to upgrade. For example, that requires an insane amount of everything there. It's tier three though, so that makes sense. So we're gonna try and build the tier two up, build the jeweler up, build up the ticket office. I want to get over there and see if I can find the remaining five bones. I did find another bone and it's a flower. I did find one more bone while I was driving around. So we have uh, we have five bones to go. There it is, just on the ground waiting. Five more bones and I think that's the dinosaur complete. I'm not actually 100% sure. We haven't found the skull yet, which I would consider important, but I guess not uh yeah i'm gonna park over here pick up all of these toolkits well pick up as many toolkits as i can be bothered purchasing uh and we'll go from there all right so these are all the toolkits i purchased so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stand here and repair these machines until i have no toolkits left we're gonna see how much gold we have and then we're gonna go and uh unlock everything uh we probably have enough to do at least the ticket office the jeweler and the tier two We'll see. Uh, there's no way we can do the tier three. It requires just crazy amounts of everything, like 540 of those hardstone blocks. I can't even imagine transporting that, let alone uh, collecting that much. I'm sure by the end of all these toolkits, so we'll probably have more than that. So uh, yeah, I will stand here for the next however many hours. I'll let you know, and we'll see what we gather. See you shortly. Four hours later. Okay, about four hours in, I discovered that I need to change this, uh, change how my setup works. We can't have raw ore around because four hours of gathering ore just completely killed my computer. I had to stop for like two minutes while it loaded. It was a pain in the ass. So this is the jeweler unlocked. I'm just going to unlock all these shops real quick. Well, as many as I can. Um, you can't actually stock the hardstone inside of them, which is a bit of a bummer. But at least now we have a jeweler right next to the gate that we come in from our settlement. I'll just head over and do the level two tools and the ship i hope we'll see well, i just discovered that you can uh compress hardstone into blocks using uh, a logic keypad you basically just choose your input and then you'll get that size of block out so i have a 700 kilo block uh, 700 weight block a two uh, sorry a 180 weight block in the back and then like a 290 which is just the leftovers so we're still a while off that 5400 but we'll see what we get out of the uh four hour well that massive amount of tool bags worth of uh mining we've still got I think maybe six tool bags left of mining to go, but we need to sort this out. Otherwise, we're going to have some serious issues. So I will quickly unlock these. Uh, you are tier two, so we could chuck that in there. I don't think we have enough core stone for that. Uh, so uh, which one is this? I see eighteen hundred. All right, uh, sorry, one eighty. This fella here is oh, so that's tier three. Oh, never mind. we can't definitely can't do that. I can read, definitely. All right, let's pop over. Oh, that's the tier two unlocked. Grab back my Cloutium and my Iron. We'll have a look what the options are here. Should be a higher tier drill as well, which we might pick up. Let's have a look. So higher speed and output size bonus. Nice, cool. And we also unlock the heavy lava drill masterwork design. I'm guessing that's what this is. Uh, the uh, harvester and intake booster. Oh, okay, those go on the intakes, right? That makes sense. A better shovel, a better pickaxe, a better rake, a lava thaw booster, increases the tear of depth the lava thaw can operate in, attached to the rear of the vehicle. 
that was a lava four. I have no idea what that is. I'm guessing it's clearly some kind of vehicle. Uh, we'll go figure that out though. So here's the shovels that we can just buy. So they're not buffed, but I think these ones will get a buff. I think. I don't actually know. All right, so we'll leave these here. So that's tier two unlocked. And last, but probably least, the uh, ticket office. So to get a ticket, what do we need? 200 of these uh, coins. All right, well, we can get that pretty easily. I think we already had that from Canyon and the Bones. So I might quickly go pick a ticket up and uh, finish upgrading the mining settlement, get that all done, come back, combine all of the materials that we get and then go check out the island at the end of this episode. All right, I'll be right back. And we are done. All the toolkits have been used. I had to, uh, halfway through, as I said, I had to update the factory show. So I'm going to show you how it works with this beautiful Aurora. Ah, how pretty. The volcano. I'm quickly going to sleep, so it's daytime. I don't think it makes too much of a difference, to be completely honest, in this game. Uh, where's my bed? Somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. Ah, oh, happy place, I think. Ah, okay. We got a lot of materials together. So, anyway, this is what it looks like now. So, I usually just drop in from the top here. Doesn't really matter. So we've got our water system here that connects into this and runs everything. We currently have a bunch of stuff on the, um, what do you call it? On the belt, so I'll show you. I think it's going to be quite impressive how much goes through. Oh my god, it actually broke. There was so much that it broke. Oh yeah, look, there's so many left in there. Yeah, so it goes down here now, so it sorts. So we got your gold, you got your iron, you've got your uh, cloutium, you've got your gemstones, uh, sorry, your shards, and then you've got your hardstone, and then all the individual gems, which get cut a bit earlier down. Uh, early on, sorry. We have sapphires, emeralds, rubies, and the diamonds and onyx are in the same box together. I found no core stone, so I'm thinking maybe you actually have to go quite, quite deep for core stone. Uh, or a higher tier. Maybe we just got lucky in the earlier place, or maybe it just has access to everything. But uh, that broke the machine, so I'm going to go and quickly repair that. I'm going to disconnect my water, though, because the water is somewhat limited. It's been pretty hard to balance. If you run the water for approximately... Oh, sorry, run the thing for about 10 minutes before you get the water running properly and it will sustain itself for long enough to be fine so let me just quickly shoot back actually i'll give you a quick rundown so yeah this is the system at the moment it's only three harvesters but this is only tier one materials i spent a lot of time carving out you know space in this ice for everything uh this is our conveyor belt that runs the ice back ice runs into the uh, melter melts runs everything goes around you've got your three uh level zero miners essentially uh which the one grinder here this one grinder grinds everything down then it shoots onto the conveyor this one centers everything going through this one grinds all the char all the crap off of the gemstones and then it just self sorts into some lovely smelters that we have hiding down here so we've got the gold smelter iron smelter um etc etc i had to put smelters there simply because uh it was just too laggy having so much materials on the map it was crazy at the moment we have currently got uh 5693.7 uh hardstone in here currently what is that is that a cork or something just hardstone right. and it all just feeds through i'm glad that this worked i was a bit worried about this one not working because uh the lid's kind of blocking the shoot but it works perfectly fine all the gems are over here sitting in their shoots as well but I will quickly pop back, grab some tools uh, to repair everything, get it all running again, and uh, we'll see how much money we made. It took about seven hours to run through all of those materials. Uh, yeah, about seven hours to run through all those uh, repair kits. Yeah, it was pretty good. Let's see how much money we made. So I think we spent about three and a half to four grand on tool bags the last time we did this. So this time I'm just going to get... We're gonna need them forever anyway, so we may as well grab more. So six grand worth. We've got eight grand here. I found this is the best way to do it. You just park your truck and then you don't have to worry about clipping as much. Sometimes it bugs out a little bit, but there we go. Last one. Seven grand. Oh. Yep, there we go. Seven grand worth. Grab our money, chuck it in, and let's get out of here. I got a cutoff valve for the water so that we can uh, turn off the water now instead of disconnecting the machine. We just pause it. Oh my god. Uh, I just sent that guy to orbit. Sorry, buddy. 
Watch out for the lava. Watch out, watch out for the lava. Oh god, what have I done? Hey, seems all right. That's pretty impressive. I wonder if he's just gonna clip through that wall. Nope, he's outside forever now. Okay, great. Well, I guess that's hilarious. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, picked up all these toolkits last time. About four grand worth of toolkits, maybe 4,500 worth of toolkits. Lasted us about seven hours of just non-stop mining with some inefficient repairs. I didn't realize that you could uh, repair them from below damaged until a bit later. So I was, I was wasting quite a few, but if I grind these ones out, I think what we're going to do though is we're going to unlock the tier 2 and tier 3 patch there. I'm going to dig it all out, make it a nice flat surface, and then we're going to set up a big system. And hopefully I can maintain it all from, you know, a semi-central uh, central location. But first what we're going to do is we're going to see how much money we made. Uh, we're going to combine all the gems together, sell everything, see if we're close to a million. I doubt it. Uh, and then we're going to go over on the ship and get the rest of the bones and we're going to finish off the series. But yeah. I'll give you one more quick uh, tour of the uh, current setup. This, this aerial view is pretty good. So there's our grinder, there's our three smithies, it's our uh, lava, which appears to be getting bigger. I guess it melts more of the land over time. I don't know, who cares? Uh, then it feeds across the belts up to all these conveyors into their pools. As I said, I don't have this one yet. This is going to be the, uh, uh, what's it called, heartstone? Uh, over here we've got the bar i haven't found any yet which is why we don't have any uh yeah, this one here core stone sorry and we've got a couple of bars here from when i had to just sort everything out because it was just it was crazy how much we were <laughs> it was crazy how much we were going through how many bars we were uh combining uh, sorry how much uh, resource we were gathering it was just causing so many lag issues but yeah let's uh repair what's down here get the cycle finished add our tap and We'll go from there. Once you'll be back, I'll have all the gems combined and I'll I'll weigh everything up and we'll see how much gold we have, how much iron we have, and how much cloud uh, cloud team we've gathered so far. But yeah, this is how I drop these. I just real easy. You can do it even faster if you get the angle right, but it's all right. All right, I'll be back. All right, well, it's probably the end of the money we're going to be producing on this episode. So let's have a grand a look at the grand total. So this is our ruby that we gathered, which is 155 weight, coming in at 4,340 gold. Not bad, I guess. The emerald coming in at 489.26 weight at $10,764 in value. The sapphire coming in at 336.08 weight, $8,402 value in hydro coins the diamond coming in at 43.06 weight a value of 10,766 hydro coins and the onyx which probably isn't going to be worth all that much 6 grand for 24.68 weight now the big ones we have let's start with the uh, cloutium so we get some more of that. We're currently at 438.49 weight, coming in at a value of 87,699 hydro coins. Our iron bar, a weight of 10,376.14, coming in at the value of 124,550 hydro coins. Our shard bar, coming in at 1,078 weight, 0.11. And last but not least, our gold bar. I got my high hopes, high hopes for this. 300k, I hope, maybe, we'll see. Uh, no, not even close. Weight of 6,844 with a value of 136,887 gold. So there you go, seven hours of mining and I make what? But over 300,000? The diamonds and stuff inclusive. So what we'll do is we'll turn all of that into jewelry. So we need five bars out of that. Uh, the lowest value was the ruby, right? Yeah, four grand. All right. So we'll do the ruby. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Four grand for the ruby and that. So the ruby and uh, that will share a smaller bar, I guess. Oops. There we go. All right. So that's for the ruby. Go. Cool. All right, guys, uh, I will get this all together, smash it up. We'll head over and we'll buy ourselves a ticket, take the boat over and get the rest of the dinosaur bones. But this is the beginning of our base. 
thank you for watching episode two if you have enjoyed the content so far don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button follow me and come and watch me live six days a week playing total war warhammer for the most part if that is something you think you might enjoy right i will make my money and i'll meet you at the ticket shop there's some tragedy in our midst look at that 93.3 ah rude i was trending upwards last time we were here obviously it's been a while 181,000 though that's not bad don't be faffing now there you go got an achievement make 100k on the stock market nice all right Get that in one drop so we actually have enough hardstone block to build this now we just i don't think we have the core stone maybe even the cloud team at this point but anyway let's go grab our ticket so we need to go into here i'll drop this bone in and we'll pick up the coins that i have left on the ground in here go fetch some hydrosaur so we found a skull on the end of the tail i do wonder about that i'm hoping that's on this other island but we'll see I'll, I'll trade you for some guild tokens. Oh. Huh. That shouldn't be too hard to make, I wouldn't think. We could use the logic cutter to, like, set the number that we need. Alright, here we are. Just gotta carry that, do I? Return journey from the island so those can stay in there. Alright. I will head to the boat and I'll bring you back. Alright, we made it through the fog. I think this is where you buy vehicles. I'm pretty sure I saw Dre doing this. So you can bring your car over because you can bring vehicles back. Oh, oh I gotta put the, I gotta put it in there. Okay. Here's my ticket. There it is. It's gone green. Bing bing. Now we're off. Oh, they, they locked the vehicle in place. I can't jump off. Worth <laughs> giving it a try though. Goodbye, island. Goodbye, my lover. No. <laughs> Goodbye, my grind. Right, so this is bringing us to the island, which has a racetrack and a few other cool bits and pieces. Uh, I don't know what to expect here. We probably will buy a new vehicle while we're here. There's, like, this huge truck that you can use to, like, help load up the Master Forge, I think. I've seen these big ice doodahs about which i reckon help well that's an interesting docking procedure all right we're free first things first no shops okay yeah see there's a racetrack and there's a vehicle like shop up here let's just follow this road and the old lava truck served us well the save aha oh my god look at the size of that thing <gasps> what is that what is that lava roller a flattening ground Ooh, ooh that sounds handy lava bike Lava Thor, used for tunneling holes with its side mounted lava cannons, can be upgraded to dig at deep tiers with boosters. Oh, I remember seeing those boosters. Ah, is that. Ah, okay. Interesting. So it's like a dozer, I guess, that shoots flamethrowers. A uh, lava hauler, the ultimate transport vehicle, can lift heavy items and store regular items. Let's have a look on the back. Yep. I'm guessing this is why my vehicle has a hook on top of it. This. Like this with lava's gonna be a bitch. And the lava truck. We know about the lava truck. Yep, just the standard lava truck. Alright, well, let's. Oh shit, you need. Oh no. We need the tokens. Alright, we're gonna start grinding out tokens. Alright, that's gonna be the next grind, I guess. We'll, we'll grind out some tokens next turn, uh, next time we're here. Does this not cost gold? It costs tokens? Ah, I had enough for the lava bike, but that's alright. It's probably probably a little bit faster than what we have. I think we have enough for like most of these. We can't afford this. That's okay. We might be able to afford that, but once we finish the dinosaur, we definitely will be able to. So I'm gonna check the island out, see if I can find any more dinosaur uh, bones. We'll see what happens, and uh, I'll get back to you. All right. Well, admittedly, I've had a bit of a boy look, but I haven't seen a single bone in this island, which is devastating. That means that they're probably all in the foggy area of the map. I haven't shown you guys the uh, foggy area yet, but basically one of the areas is just completely coated in fog pretty self-explanatory uh and i think that might be where the dinosaur bones are currently uh what we'll do is we'll leave the islands we can't afford anything here anyway so we'll shoot off out of here uh and i want to go oh what's that what's that town i 
to your house. But what we'll do is we uh, there's these big pillars that I want to try unlocking, so I'm going to go have a look at those. Unfortunately, we're not going to finish the dinosaur this episode, but maybe in the next episode it could be our overarching goal. Oh, that's just a house. Okay. Appears to be a jump over here, which is pretty cool. Nothing here, nothing interesting. All right, well, that's fine. So what we'll do is we'll head back over towards the mainland and I'll bring you back when I find one of these drill pillar things that I'm talking about. We'll see if we can repair one, see what they do, see if they have some kind of effect on the map. And then we'll start saving up some of those coins. I'll start doing some of the favors. Unlock tier three, hopefully in the next episode and we'll become very rich very quickly, I suspect. Uh, we are already quite rich. I've spent a lot of time watching machines and digging holes into ice so i hope you're enjoying it it's it's a true grind i'm really just showing you guys the end result of many hours of grind i don't know if that's how you prefer it i can't imagine you guys want to watch a fast forwarded version of eight hours of mining it doesn't sound like the most interesting thing on the planet so if you do have a uh, idea of what you prefer please let me know in the comment section below and i will keep an eye on it but otherwise, I'm just going to keep doing this. I'll keep doing big grinds and showing you guys the end results. Give you a quick showing of what my like base looks like, what my settlements. What the hell? Oh my god, look at this. This boat's... Who was driving this thing? Pretty impressive. But yeah, so this is the fog area over here directly ahead of us. And I think that must be where the dinosaur bones are. Either that or I should just, you know, plug my eyes in a little bit better and have a better look around. They're probably actually near the road. I did generally find them near the road. Sorry, I'm just uh, yammering on here. But that was the uh, island. So we'll come back here once we have some tokens and unlock some of the vehicles. But now we're going to work on unlocking tier three so that we can go and build a bunch of high tier drills. So hopefully I don't have to repair them quite as often because that is the worst part for sure. Oh, I thought that was a dock. It is a dock. Okay. Just, it just lands funny. And breaks. We're here. Huzzah. All right, team. Like I said, I'll bring you back for one last thing and then we're going to end the episode. So this is the weird drill I was talking about. So we need 2300 hardstone, 1400 iron and 30 cloudium. So the iron, yeah, well, it's all easy. We've got it all already. I will quickly pick that up and I'll be right back. We are back. All right. Let's chuck it in there. The gold stone. Palladium and iron. Yep. Go. Cool. Click. What's this? Uh, an abandoned miner. Hardstone. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh, hello. Uh. I'm guessing this thing like passively clicks for me. Cool. Okay. So I can either gather hardstone or I can gather shards. I don't think we're gonna need that much hardstone. I don't know what this is. Oh, oh it's how full it is. Ah. I just saw it move, just like a fraction. In my goods. Okay, I'll just one big chunk. It's fine, I guess. That's kind of cool, isn't it? So just get those materials for me. I don't know how long it takes. I guess we could time it, but nah, it's right. Maybe another time. Oh, all right. We might actually be able to get all of those running. Entirely possible. They're, they're not that expensive, and we got a lot of material here. Uh, yeah, you know what, I, ugh, do I, can I be bothered? I need the iron to make smithing stuff, don't I, if I want to make a bunch of furnaces. I don't know, I've never made one before, but I imagine I do. We're ages away from tier three, but we'll, I think we'll call it here. That's going to be the end of the episode. That's pretty cool, though. We've got ourselves an auto miner, so it's gathering two different types of resources. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you think I should build the other ones. There's another one in the fog, and there's one near the starting patch. Those are the three I've seen while I was looking for bones. But yeah, that was a good episode, I think. We got the base built. We got a shit ton of money. So we've got 180k here. I think we got a bit of money lying around as well. It's probably 185,000. 
uh the miners set up and i'm gonna go and unlock some tier twos up the top at the forge so i think that's where we'll start the next episode but thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys later all right bye